Hello fellow happy crafters. So excited that you could join me today. We have a unboxing of the Sassy Club's newest June release stamp collection. Super excited to be able to go through it. Do know it is open already. <laughs> it is open. My sister has already gone through this, looked at it because she had to work today. And I let her take out the sticker, the vinyl sticker that actually comes in the subscription. I will be honest, I don't think everyone gets a sticker because honestly, I don't pay for the vinyl sticker. It usually is just in here. I believe that was an incentive for the first like 45 subscribers. So I'm really, really thankful that I get a free sticker. My sister loves them because they are super cute. I wish I could have, I should have told her to leave it so that I could have showed you guys. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and do this unboxing of the Sassy Stamp Club's newest stamp release for June. And it is so cute. I will tell you, um, she does do sneak peeks and does show the entire collection online. So it's not like I haven't seen these before, but I have honestly not seen them in person. So it's a very, very different kind of perspective, I guess, when you see something online versus something in person, because something can look super cute online and then be just plain old trash in, in real life. That's never happened with the Sassy Stamp Club. I will say everything I see online is exactly how it arrives in person. I have never had a bad experience with the Sassy Stamp Club. Sandra, the owner and creator, is an amazing artist. She is just so talented and for the price, I will tell you the Sassy Club is the most affordable stamps pop culture wise and acrylic size for the amount of stamps you get that I've ever seen. I shop the Kindred, I shop Lawn Fawn, I shop so many other stamps online from other small businesses. And I have to say that Sandra from the Sassy Stamp Club owner creator has kept the prices so amazing and worth the price for the amount of stamps that you get and the quality. So let's jump in to this month's release. So the very first one is going to be, oh, ooh, ooh. I'm cheating here. I'm cheating here because I want to do them in a particular order. Okay. So I quickly, quickly glanced, but we're gonna go ahead. So the first one is going to be Sunshine Girl, and this is Rainbow Bright. Rainbow Bright is slightly a few years before me. Um, I grew up in the 90s, wasn't really privy to Rainbow, Bar Rainbow Bright. I did, you know, watch the Smurfs and Care Bears and things like that. Rainbow Bright just wasn't something that I was into as a child or was available to me. Super cute stamp though, and I think I could do a really cute 80s bright, fun, neon kind of card with Rainbow Bright and the Care Bears. And once again, like this is what I'm talking about for the value of these, and I will leave the prices down below as long with the links to the individual individual stamps. This has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine stamps in total, two complete sayings, some decorative pieces, full drawn out characters. One, two, three, four full drawn out characters. This one is attached to the rainbow, so it's a bigger piece, amazing. And a little rainbow here. This is so amazing. And when I tell you the value of these stamps for the price, I just don't know how she does it. Because like I said, I shop other, other small businesses and I can't get this many stamps for the prices that these are. But anyway, back to the actual stamp set itself. This one is super cute. I think I will enjoy coloring it. I may have to look up who Rainbow Bright is, her color cords and things like that to make sure I get it right and keep it authentic when I make that card, but it's super cute. If you want me to, if you want to see me stamp out this set, actual stamp it on paper, because sometimes stamps do look different on paper or you wanna see me color it, let me know in the comments below. Would be happy to do that. Again, this is Sunshine Girl, super cute. The next one is Under the Ocean, and this is mermaid themed, super cute. Again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 stamps, two sayings, really cute accent pieces with the seahorse, the fish, and this is, what is this? Kelp? What, what? Seaweed? What is this? <laughs> um, uh, so this is really cute and I love this. Original design, she, like I said, is an amazing artist. This is gonna be so fun to create a planner spread with. This is something that I would use for a staycation theme in my happy planner, especially since no one's going anywhere right now, at least in America, <laughs> because I know from my fiance being in the UK that they're out of lockdown, so a lot of people are going out. 
um, stay safe out there, guys, because like America, we were in lockdown and now, then we went out of lockdown, now we're back in, you know, it's crazy. So stay safe out there. But this is super cute, absolutely love it. The next one, oh my gosh, I'm dying. This next set is called Hey Cutie, amazing. A flip amazing. So we have Hello Kitty in various situations here. We have Hello Kitty reading. We have Hello Kitty on her giant, of course, lovely, amazing bow. We have Hello Kitty going for a walk and then swimsuit Hello Kitty. Then we have Hello, Fun, and Plan. This is absolutely amazing. Oh, and it, this is gonna be amazing just for cards in general. A gigantic exclamation point. I love this one. The attention to detail, the coordination of all the stamps together. This is not only gonna be amazing for card making, for planning, for journaling. This is gonna be something I definitely use a lot of because they're compact, but there's so much detail going on that they'll be really fun to color and to use in various ways. Again, this one is called Hey Cutie, and I think so far this is probably going to be my favorite. We'll see, we'll see. And then the next one is going to be Heavenly Friends. So this is based on Twin Stars. I believe that's what they're called, right, Twin Stars? Um, so again, so many stamps here, so many adorable stamps. And then Bestie, that's really cute. I really like how this one was kept minimal with the phrases and you got more of the actual characters and some little extras here like the stars, the shooting stars, and uh, a bows. I think this one is really cute and so many unique things that you could do. Again, they're perfect size for planning, but also for some interactive cards would be really great, especially if you have like the, I have the Lawn Fawn, um, mover where it's like the pull tabs these would be really really cute in a scene on a card the next one oh, another amazing one hello clawsome this is adorable not only is it just amazing in detail but the fact that this is a claw machine it really is reminiscent of japan if you've ever been to japan or know anything about their vending machine culture their claw machines there's like so many of these different types of machines there it's crazy um and they're all fun and unique and i think this is super super cute especially because it has the hello kitty head at the top and then we have all our little friends here i see my personal favorite my melody of course and you have hello kitty Karopi. i can't remember who these two are off the top of my head one that's missing that's really sad and i know my sister is going to be so sad is choco cat my sister is a huge fan of choco cat i'm actually kind of sad not to see choco cat but i hope that there are more sets that are made of hello kitty because you know hello kitty is great there's so many characters and i hope to see choco cat in the future but this one is so so cute the next one is i believe the i don't know if it's what you would call this the exclusive stamp in the set but i think this is the one that only comes with buying the whole set together it i don't believe this one is sold individually i'll have to check for you guys because i know per release some of the um small stamps like this usually are exclusive to the bundle or the subscription so we'll all check for you guys but this one is super cute and this one is called cherry on top absolutely adorable this is hello kitty and her friends in an ice cream cone with some really cute sayings i absolutely love the fact that your is here because i always have to get my alpha set out to create your i don't have any your stamps so this is going to be super helpful and it's a sweet all stop the world and melt with you oh my gosh she's killing me with these 80s amazingness so absolutely love that in fact this is my parents um wedding song so i will have to who sings that spandau span span spandau ballet who freaking sings this I don't know why I can't think of it, but I think this will be a really cute anniversary card for my mom and dad. So now like so many things are running through my mind. I am so excited. There is one thing that's missing here because I do subscribe to the subscription. I was, I work on Saturdays when she releases. So I did not have time to grab the acrylic block. So every release she does like the Sailor Moon one, there's usually an acrylic block and I absolutely love these. And there was a Hello Kitty one. It's coming next week because she did a pre-order for it along with another stamps and some more of the uh, vinyl stickers. So you'll be able to see those in a couple weeks. 
really looking forward to this next stamp set that I'm getting. It's going to be hilariously fun to play with. But I hope you guys enjoyed this. These are amazing. Like I said, this is a small business. All her stamps are made here in the U.S. In fact, everything on her site is made here in the U.S. And I think it's really important to support, support small businesses. Hers especially, because like I said, for the value, for the value. And I believe with the subscription, this was like 60 something. I'll have to do the math in another video. But this is totally worth it. The quality is there. The amount of stamps you get, like I'm telling you, like so many stamps, like for $12, a lot of other places I per stamp sheet, I get like a big stamp and then a lot more decorative pieces where this has a lot of focal points. And like I said, this one is my absolute favorite. A lot of focal points with a, some decoration and some even fun words and sayings. So I think that she is by far my favorite stamp shop. If you know any other small businesses that do stamps or paper crafts or anything like that. I'm a big fan of the Kindred. I have a few of their stamps. I'll have to get them out of storage. We moved, so I don't actually have them here because I packed them in a box and I never went to go get it from storage. Um, but I do have some lawn fun here. I have a couple shops that used to be online that closed. Um, the Sweet Stamp Shop closed last year, so I have a lot of those stamps. But I always love small businesses that do amazing artistry and can create something so amazing. So guys, I'm really excited that you joined me for this video. If you want to see me actually stamp these out individually on paper, let me know and I'll go ahead and make a video about that. Also, I'm thinking about making cards for our frontline essential workers, whether those are our doctors, our nurses, our CNAs, our social workers, anyone that has to be out there, our hotel employees, retail employees, for those of you who are out there working hard and keeping everything running, I appreciate you so much. And if you have a family member or a loved one who is out there putting their lives on the line, um, who's not as lucky as those of us who were able to transition to work from home, um, let me know in the comments down below because what I wanna do is make thank you cards and get them sent out because if you don't have time to make thank you cards for those people in your life who have just done an amazing job stepping up for our, our country and doing the best they can, putting their lives on the line every day, we really should be showing them more appreciation. Um, it's a really big thing that I believe in. I Even before quarantine, I'm the biggest person who always says thank you to our military officers, uh, our, our military members, police officers, firefighters, everyday people like um, employees at Walmart, employees at Target, thanking them for being there, our teachers. There's so many people in the world that have jobs that really make our country great and what it is today, and they deserve all the thanks in the world. So I do wanna get some cards going. If you have a loved one, family member, put it down below, and I will try and get some templates up. Follow me on Instagram, because I'll probably show them there. And then if you would like me to send one to you for you to give to that special person in your life who's really just being amazing during this time, let me know because I will definitely get a card to you. So tell me if y'all like that idea, share the idea around if there are other card maker stampers out there that wanna get behind this and kind of make this a community thing. Definitely let me know because I really, really would love to do this. It's something that would be amazing to do and even if we could possibly fundraise, even to, to do small things like a gift card to Starbucks or something like that would be really fun. So I'll try and see what I can put together and then I will see you guys in the next video and hopefully that will be the cart tour, because I do have a cart. Um, it's not my Roscog cart, but it is a different cart. So I will see you guys in that video, and I hope you have a wonderful and blessed day. And thank you so much for all of those of you who are out there who are really making a positive impact and putting your lives on the line. We couldn't do what we do without you, so thank you so much, and you guys have a wonderful day.